Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 430 for Friday, March 10th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome back to Business Brain, the show where we apply our business brains to just about anything and everything, including stuff you send us at feedback at businessbrain.show. Sponsors for this episode include Notion AI, and you can learn about Notion AI and Notion in general, and try Notion AI for free by visiting notion.com slash businessbrain. We'll talk more in depth about that in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, at least while we're recording this, I'm Dave Hamilton. And Lafayette, California, I'm Shannon Jean. Yeah, man. How, how are you, man? Uh, I'm good. I'm, you know, just rocking and rolling, getting it all done. Because <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I just yes. get it all done because that's what I There's do. There's no alternative, right? You just I mean, have to. Uh, there probably is. I'm just not smart enough yeah. to see it. So. No, I think it's good. I do. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. yeah, I agree. That's cool. I'm hey, excited to, have, to be using this Notion thing. I think it's pretty cool. It, yeah, yeah. It's yes. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Learning along with the rest of us how to how to use it. So how to I'm, use it. I'm looking forward to to that. Yeah, same. Uh, we'll we'll tell you about it as as things progress here over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we got some feedback from listener Tony in Rockville. Uh, we asked in episode 427. Uh, we were talking about different tools, and we asked about Microsoft Teams. And he says, I heard you talking about that in episode 427 from March 1st. He says, I use Microsoft Teams in my work environment, which is an organization of several thousand with offices around the world. As with most large organizations, we are standardized on Microsoft applications, including not just MS Office and Teams, but also SharePoint for editing documents and tracking organizational calendars, even beyond Outlook. We have Windows machines on our desktops, but we use organization-issued iPhones and iPads for mobile work. This is all my context for comments here about Teams. A really nice feature of both Teams and all of these Microsoft programs, more, genuinely, more generally, is that they are genuinely cross-platform. So my iPhone and iPad apps for Teams perfectly integrate with my Windows desktop in terms of actual features. I agree with Shannon's comment about on the show that Teams is intuitive. I have tried, he says, but been unable to figure out Discord, for example. Teams still has a bit of clunkiness in that there are a lot of tabs running down the side, and I cannot figure out the difference between activity and chat tabs. It also takes a bit of figuring to form a chat group on the fly with specific people, but overall the chat function is not that hard to figure out. For video calls, I've had to migrate to Teams from Zoom. I believe that Zoom is more flexible in that you can text to just certain people in a call with Zoom, whereas Teams chat goes to everyone on the call. Also, and in contradiction to my point about Teams being intuitive, he says you need to be really, really careful with Teams chat because it is not easy to tell if an incoming chat message came via an active Teams call or via a side chat. So mm. you could inadvertently respond to a chat and message the whole group uh, oh, via the active yeah. call rather than the side yeah. chat. And that could be embarrassing. Tony implies perhaps that uh, it may or may not have happened to him. These important considerations aside, Teams advantages are that it does integrate nicely with the Microsoft Office suite and it is perfectly cross-platform. Considering that I have to use it, I've gotten used to it and it's fine. He says, thanks for that, Tony. And uh, because we featured your email on the show, you are, of course, entered into the drawing for a MacBook Air this year. Feedback at businessbrain.show is where any of you would send that. But thank you, Tony. That's that's great feedback. Um, I'm glad I, I'm glad to hear that 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 Teams has that intuitiveness. And and I I think he's right to to lean heavily on this cross platform thing. Microsoft yeah. originally got a bad rap for making apps that were either for Windows primarily or for Mac primarily. Like there were some in time that were more Mac apps than Windows apps. But they really kind of figured out the cross-platform thing when they had to start developing for iPhone, and obviously that has sure. spilled over. Yeah. And that's been good. Or even if they had it, they often would have features that mm -hmm. didn't work on one platform or another. So mm -hmm. hearing that it is seamlessly cross-platform, I think it's it's great. Uh, I still, you know, uh, I'm I'm playing around with it and and learning more about it, and um, so I'm 
I'm looking forward to continuing the discovery about it. I think it'd be great. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um, Good. I was hanging out with a friend. This is a friend who I, I've, I've been in touch with for for decades. I think the last time I saw him was either 1995 or 2001. I can't remember which. Uh, but I was at a party at his house, and when I saw him, certainly in 1995, he he is an artist. Um, okay. And, and he has. Uh, he has taken that and is now an art teacher and is in fact almost about to retire a few years away from retiring as an art teacher, which sort of blew my mind. Again, we've been in touch, but I had not been to his house in decades. The last time it certainly in 1995, when it was at his house for, for this party, he has this one party every year and, and it's a very creative thing. It's fantastic. Uh, but I haven't been. And in 95, when I was at his house, it was this tiny little apartment. Uh, he was making $14,000 a year as an artist making jewelry and selling it at like crafts fairs. Now okay. he lives in this gorgeous home and is about to retire uh, with a pension. And and that sort of blew my mind. And I said that to him, like, this is really, I mean, I said, I know we've been in touch, but you know, I, I have not been in your home since you lived in that tiny little apartment, you know? And, uh, and he laughed and he said, yeah, you know, it's funny. He says that year you're talking about, he says, I remember my brother showed up at the party early um, and he had stopped at some sandwich shop and bought a sandwich. And he showed up at my house with the sandwich and he was going to eat it because he, he hadn't eaten dinner and you know, we don't serve dinner at the party. And so, okay. you know, it was like he was going to eat before the party started, which was fine. But he says, I remember looking at my brother's sandwich and thinking, wow, I'd like to be able to buy a sandwich and, uh, and, but we, what we, what we wound up talking about from there was those moments are good to remember. They're not necessarily good to relive, but they are powerful moments and we all have them right for, for my friend Duffy, it's the sandwich story, but you know, for, for all of us, we have those moments where we, you know, something burned into our memory about what we couldn't do. And then, you know, that perhaps was part of the fuel that pushed us forward to be able to have the financial flexibility to do those things. And, and, but also to remember those moments like, okay, I've, I've, you know, I've, you know, progressed forward. I now have a different financial frame of reference on my life, but it's good to remember the sandwich moments, you know, to, to not yeah. forget that, okay, I've come a long way and I definitely don't want to go back there. Like I always want to be able to afford a sandwich if I want a sandwich. So, you know, the fuel to drive you through your day is, at least for Duffy, the sandwich moment. Oh, it'd be different for all of us, but I, we all have those moments. And I, it was just a, one of those really interesting kind of conversations to have and, and, and yeah, reflect I, I, on. I think it's, yeah, yeah and I, I think it's uh, important to, recognize too for me it's it's visual okay uh, okay i'm i'm a I'm, I, i've had a case of the i wants since i was a little kid mm -hmm. i want this i want that i want that and i realized quickly that that's my that's how i can motivate myself yeah and when i was a, a little kid i i fell in love with jeeps the the vehicles and i got i had this poster on my wall that had like i don't know 30 or 40 different jeeps and i used to tell myself I'm going to own one of each of those oh. in, in, in my life. No wonder you have Jeeps. Oh. Yeah. And so I have kept accumulating different models and different things. And one, you know, I think I've, I've only owned, I don't know, maybe five or six different, different, maybe seven, sure. but, uh, it, I've used that trick my entire life. I, I wanted a, a beautiful home, you know, and I, I always went, so on the weekends, we would, my wife and I would go drive through the neighborhood that we, neighborhoods that we wanted to live in and just look at these houses. And, and to me, it was just a brain hack yes. to, to continually make myself think. I mean, when I was driving, looking at these homes, it was inconceivable to me that I could ever live in this area. I, I, I live here now, but 
it constantly kept me going because I really don't like to compare. I, I don't think comparison works and it, it takes away much of the joy in your life. If you compare yourself, no, to but to drive or, towards something yeah. that's yours, yes. even it's though yours. you've You're, seen you, someone yeah. else with it, like Duffy saw his brother right. with the sandwich, but he didn't want his that's brother's right. sandwich. He wanted Correct. to be able to buy his, his own. own sandwich. Yeah. Yes. So when you want to compare, you should compare yourself to who, what you were doing and who you were yesterday. Yes. Right. And so, and who you, you can compare, be tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, correct. Yeah. That is a big v- motivator, that visual things, you know, pictures hanging on the wall, whatever you want to do, it it really has worked for me. I I credit so much of my that that ability to aspire, right? Cuz that's what we're yeah. talking about here is is yep. cuz you got to be able to visual, you got to see it somehow. You know, you got to visualize it in order to to make it on your path. And I did so much consulting in people's homes, fixing their computers and that sort of thing. And for the most part, the people who, whose homes I visited were much nicer than mine. And yeah, I got right. to see, and I got to know these people cause I would spend hours with them and I got to see how they lived and how they interacted. And that changed everything for me. I, my wife right. was, was saying something. She's like, you really, you, 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 you know, you kind of broke the mold from your family. And I'm like, well, it's in part due to you. And in part due to the, 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 you know, the, the people that I immersed myself with unintentionally, but yeah, makes a huge difference, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right. So there's been a lot of buzz around AI lately. We've been talking about it here on the show quite a bit, but maybe you're not sure how it fits into your daily life or your workflow. Well, Notion has just launched a new incredible tool, Notion AI, that's fully integrated into Notion, so it has the context of everything you're already working on. Notion is this cool thing. If you don't already know about it, you got to check it out. Shannon and I have started using it, you know, for a long time. We just used a single doc for our agendas, and it's fine, but, like, that starts to get unruly and unwieldy. Notion lets you combine your notes and your docs into one space that's super simple, beautifully designed, and now more powerful than ever, thanks to AI. Notion AI helps you work faster, write better, and think bigger doing tasks that normally take you hours in just seconds, right? Because that's what AI, as we've been talking about here on the show, that's what it's good for is giving you those thought starters and now You get to have that happen with the context of the stuff that you already have in Notion. And it's across all your notes and docs without the need to jump between your work and a separate AI powered tool. Notion AI is designed to help you with your work right in the place where you're doing your work, not some separate AI tool you got to copy and paste. So it, whatever you're working on, Notion AI lets you skip to the good part, right? You can save time and write faster by letting Notion AI handle all the brainstorming in your first draft, or it can take your messy notes and turn them into something polished. It's amazing. For a limited time, you can try Notion AI for free when you go to notion.com slash businessbrain. That's all lowercase letters, notion.com slash business brain to try out the incredible power of Notion AI today. And when you use our link, you're supporting our show, right? This is a limited time offer, though. So try Notion AI for free right now at notion.com slash business brain. I think you're going to love this. And our thanks to Notion and Notion AI for sponsoring this episode. While we're here, I've got a show for you. Are you interested in growing your e-commerce store or perhaps even starting one? Well, then you should be listening to the award-winning top e-commerce podcast, E-Commerce Master Plan. Host and author of the best-selling book, E-Commerce Marketing, Chloe Thomas, has been in the e-commerce industry for nearly 20 years helping e-commerce entrepreneurs like you and like us to grow our business. Every week on the show, Chloe interviews a different e-commerce brand to explore how they are achieving their success. From startups to eight-figure brands, there's always something new to learn. You can listen now on your favorite podcast app. Just search for e-commerce master plan, or you can go to their website at ecommercemasterplan.com slash podcast. And our thanks to Chloe for doing this swap with us. All right, Shannon, what do you got today? Let me tell you this, uh, Something that happened to me the other day that I thought was fascinating. All right. 
So we live near uh, the Napa Valley and go up there from time to time and have lunch. And I think we actually went up a, a few weeks ago, I think it was Valentine's Day, and went to lunch, a couple of wineries, and uh, we picked up some wine. We're part of a club on this one winery, went for a tour. It's great. Went on the way out. We got our wine. Uh, I mean, it was, I don't know how many bottles it were, but it was, I don't know, it was three, four hundred bucks. Sure. And uh, as I went to leave, one of the employees made a comment that just struck me. And I was like, man, we have to talk about this on the, on the show. <laughs> uh, and so as we went to leave, she handed me the case of uh, or whatever many bottles of wine. And she said, oh, um, I know it's the, it was the 14th. I know it's the 14th. I hope you don't mind if we wait to bill you in March because we've already met our sales quota for February and I want to apply this towards March. Wait, what? This was this wasn't the twenty eighth of the month. This was the fourteenth no, no, no. of the month. Yeah, this was the fourteenth. So they had obviously what? had a good a good couple weeks. Yeah, but uh, like I and when you told me this story in the pre show, I, I was like, okay, yeah, this no, I mean, like even if it was the twenty eighth, like yeah, all of the about. same things, yeah. we should talk about it anyway. But yes. holy yeah. crap, fourteenth. So Come I, on. I, I was like, okay. Sure, you know, but and and I got in the car and I was talking to to Renee. I was like, you know, that's a if you own this winery, oh yeah, that is just a negative thing all around. Number one, your cash flow is less, right? Number two, uh, who is going to what vehicle is in uh is is being used to track these sales that you're pushing off for two so weeks. they don't get forgot? And I will tell you, I checked before we came on the show today. I have still not been charged for that. That uh, so this is now order, March sixth. We are in yeah. March sixth. You haven't been charged for this. No, nope. that was three weeks ago. Yeah, this is yeah. insane. They gave you wine. You will. I. I will <laughs> not be surprised if you never get charged. I'll for keep this. an eye on it and let and let you know. And it's a great winery. We love the people. Are super. Yeah. You know, friendly and and we go. Like I say, we go up for events that they have and everything. Um, and so I just thought, it's it's a. Because you want to have, you know, goals and stretch goals and mm -hmm. systems in place for your sales team. And, hey, if you hit these numbers, you're going to get a bonus. But at the same time, this particular person was looking ahead for 2024 thinking, wow, if we book. I want a sandbag. Yes, because if we book a huge February, that means I'm going to have to exceed that next year. So I think that if it's happening oh. in places like that. It's happening every, you know, everywhere probably. I, I have been uh, known here at Bat, at Backbeat Media to take something that comes in on March first and call it a February twenty eighth deal, right? If I want to yeah, goose the numbers for February, yes. or or vice versa, like I I have been guilty of yeah. that a day, a couple days here and there, mostly not, to motivate yeah. the team and be able to right. say, hey, our February sales were X or. Our March yeah. sales are already exceeding last March, even just two days in. Like, I love being able to do that stuff. And so, like, like I, when you, again, when you mentioned this to me pre-show, I was like, okay, well, I, I have some defense for this. I am, I, I, I need to correct myself. I have zero defense for this. If we're at February 14th and we've already crushed our February sales quota, whatever that might be based on whatever it is, and we're yeah. still bringing in sales. I'm going to ring that bell every day, every moment that I can to motivate no, the right. team. Y you know, and, and uh, you got to oh. eliminate this concept of, uh, and I, I imagine that salespeople everywhere could speak to this mm -hmm. of like, wow, you know, if I hit these big numbers next year, I may really have a hard time. Right. Because the oh, bar yeah. is continually raised. Right. That's just always life. It never that's goes just down. life. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's yep. not going. Yeah. And so it, it may reset once in a while. If yeah. They have a, you know, recession economy, or bad whatever. year or whatever. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I, I was trying to think of a way that you could, you know, kind of spin this and change the frame of, hey, we hit our number one. We under projected. Right. Obviously. We've our, yes. our budgeting or our sales projections were too low for February. Why is that? You know, and and help get your people involved. Of let's figure out what happened. Did we have 
more people will come in? Did we, is our average sale price much higher? Did we have, in the case of a winery, did we get more people signed up for the club or whatever, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and it would be a great exercise in getting them involved and also telling them, Hey, you know, we're going to base it the next year's numbers on something. Maybe you meet in the middle, right? So instead of, wow, we're going to add those two week sales on. So next February, you're really going to have to knock it out of the park. Yeah. Um, but maybe it's like, hey, guys, just to let you know, we think we under projected for February. So we're only going to add, I don't know, 20, 20% or maybe it's 25%. I don't know. Whatever. whatever yeah. Whatever you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that wow. engagement would get you and, and your, your team more on the same page because you don't want them doing this. No, uh, you want to talk about, I, I, I love this yeah. idea. No, this is a great, cause I mean, this is essentially what we do at Backbeat. Like we will, if, if, and this happens sometimes, like what I said, we're, you know, we're at yeah. m- like the of second course. day of the month and we've crushed that Get month from the deal. year prior. Right. 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 Uh, we've had it, it too. Yeah. It happens. Right. Yeah. And so we talk about it like, okay, is this something that like, obviously this is great news. You know, of course, what's it's, the that reason should be celebrated, <laughs> right? Let's celebrate yeah. breathe. Yes. Now let's look at this. Okay. We're, let's keep selling, but let's talk about why this happens so that next year, if things are slower, I don't have a team full of dejected people. I've got a team right. full of informed people. God, yes. it's crazy, man. Yeah. 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 So it, it's as business owners, managers, you know, it, it's our responsibility to be monitoring this stuff and to uh, turn it into something that you can get closer to your people with and they you build more trust and more credibility because in this person's case, they're like, oh man, we are screwed next February. Right. So I'm going to not book any large sales or whatever it is, any, any sales until March. And how many of those sales are not going to get booked or forgotten? What if my credit card expired or gets declined in March? I mean, I have, oh, I think, member, I think so you have in, free you know. wine. If this didn't happen on March 1st, <laughs> yeah. you have free wine. Well, I, it's at the same time, sucks. It, like you care it, about yeah. this wine or you like it. It's a business. Like oh, yeah. most of us yeah, that, yeah. that buy regularly from the same business, we kind of want the business to survive. Of course, of course. Uh, and you know, I, I no. will reach out to these people if, like, hey, you know, yeah, you didn't because uh, they've been around for a long time, and I, you know, we. Yeah, like, you don't want to screw them, you know. No. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But, That's not but, the goal. The, but I, the key I is think really what I want to do is, if you don't do that, you got free wine, and I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not suggesting email, that you should. Yeah, but yeah. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to email the owner uh, a link to this episode. Oh. <laughs> and not because we didn't mention any names. Nope. And no, you know, that's correct. We could just, but it's a lesson. It's nobody. I mean, yeah, somebody did something wrong, but it's a great team of people. They're super enthusiastic about. Yeah, no, this product. is a management and, problem. You know, My words. Yeah. But th- this is a correct. management problem. Yep. Yes. Yep. That's right. They, they've missed an opportunity to change this whole thing and get everybody. It. it you know. Oh, we are all on the same side. We are on the yes. same team. So when something weird happens. Because you ought to do the same thing on February 14th if the numbers just suck. Yeah, you, and you know the month isn't going to work. Yeah, that's Yeah, right. hey, what happened here? And look at last February and look at the previous month. What's going on? Is it, yep. you know, is it an unrealistic number that we that we listed or whatever it is? All those things are opportunities to get closer to your team, build trust, build credibility. In the long run, they're going to work harder for you. You're going to make more money. I like it, man. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Anybody have a story like that? We'd love to hear it. Uh, feedback at businessbrain.show. Um, love to feature your story, whether it's your business or some other business you are at. And if we talk about it on the show, you'll be entered to win a MacBook Air. And the odds are definitely in your favor. It's definitely in your favor. Yeah. Feedback at businessbrain.show. We'd love to hear from you. And really, that's why we're doing this contest, because we'd love to hear from you. Keep living that charmed life. We'll see you next week.